Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite winter products, which I'm going to be calling my winter skin savers because they're all skin products, whether it be for my hands, my lips, my face. I'm going to get started and go through the products with you guys. So first I'm going to start off with the product that I've had in my purse for the last month. It's been a new purchase for me, but I haven't been able to let it out of my sight. And this is the Lano Hand Cream in Coconutter. This is the Hand Cream Intense. And this was actually recommended to me to get the lip balm, but I thought why not splurge and get the hand cream as well. And I am obsessed with this. I actually put a little dab of it on the back of my hand. And because it's such a thick formula, I don't normally like it on the fronts of my hands. So I will just go and rub the backs of my hands together and then I always do my wrists for some reason. I just feel like that really gives a really nice hydrated look and there you go. It's all rubbed in, super easy and it does feel really moisturizing for hours and hours after I apply this. And also it smells like coconuts which is such a lovely touch. While I'm talking about their products, this is another one of the Lano Lip products. This is the 101 Ointment. It's the multi-purpose balm in Coconutter. And what I love about this balm, first and foremost, is the packaging. It has a little tip at the top where you can apply the product directly to your lips. And especially in the cold winter months, you're gonna be wearing gloves, you're gonna be freezing cold. You don't wanna have to dip your finger into any pot of any sort. So applying it directly from the tube allows you to keep your mittens on and it just is the perfect packaging for this type of product. Obviously I love the formula. It's extremely thick, but it has no like goopy sensation. It's not sticky at all. I actually have it on my lips now and I just put a lip liner on top because I wanted to add a little bit of color, but I haven't been able to put this down and it's so extremely moisturizing. It's the most moisturizing lip product I own. I'm also gonna mention another lip product. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've been using it this for years and years and I just opened up a new tube or bottle or tub. <laughs> and I love this at nighttime. I use this every single night. I do find that it's a little bit of a bummer to again scoop it out of your out of here, but when I'm applying this, my hands are really clean because I've been just applying all of my skincare, so it's not a huge issue. I do find that this is really moisturizing and really creamy, but I do find the Lano lips a little bit more hydrating and it stays like stuck to your lips for a really long time, whereas the Laneige lip mask does fade after like a few hours. Um, I do really love this one though and it does smell amazing. This is the original, so I think it's the smell berry. Okay, I might as well get into skincare now because I'm already talking about products in my routine. This is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra and this is an intensive hydrating serum. And I use this after I wash my face and sometimes I feel like in the winter time, after I wash off all my makeup and cleanse my face, my skin kind of tightens up a little bit and it just, you can feel the dryness starting to sink in. And so I use one or two pumps of this on my face first to start it off. And this is kind of like the first step of my routine. And then after the Hydra, I will go in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is probably the number one skin saver of all of these products because, except I use this all year round. This is one of those products that you always need hydration in your routine and this definitely brings it to your skin. So what I do is I take a full pump of this, which is this much. This is actually the bigger bottle, by the way. This is 60 milliliters, the two fluid ounces. This is the $12 one on Sephora versus the $6 one. I go through it super fast. I'm already half done and I bought it like two months ago. Um, so essentially getting back into how I apply it, I will take one pump of it onto my hand, pat it. I don't like to rub it because it does kind of get a little milky feeling. So I will just pat it all over my face, focusing it on the really dry parts. So my forehead, my chin, and right under here, my cheeks are really dry in the winter time. And what I will do, I have to make sure that this dries completely afterwards because if you don't allow each step of your routine to dry in between, it kind of brings this like soupy texture to your skin. 
and it doesn't have a full chance for all of your products individually to sink in. And then after my moisturizer and after I've applied my toners and all that sort of thing, like this is the very last step of my routine, I will apply a facial oil. And now this is an essential product in my winter skincare. I don't always use oils in the summertime because my skin already has some natural oils that come out in the, win in the summertime but in the winter definitely it's more dry. So this one is the one I've been using. This is the Youth to the People Acai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. I love this. It smells delightful and all I need is two or three pumps on the palms of my hands. I rub it like this to get them all soaked and then I will just pat it like this. And I don't forget your neck obviously and yeah this has been a really really awesome product I'm almost done it and then if my skin is extremely dry and I need a little bit more TLC on my skin I will go in with the youth to the people super berry dream mask and now this product really brings that moisture back into your skin it's a really fluffy buttery texture and it just feels so lovely on the skin and this is a mask but it's an overnight mask so you can leave it on all night long and then you will wake up and your skin will look very glowy and super plump and hydrated. Now I'm going to move on to a couple of the makeup products that I recommend for the winter time because I find a lot of powders and things like that really are not the right move in the winter for me because especially my forehead gets so dry that the powders will cling to it weird and it will just make my face look like I'm wearing so much makeup when I'm not really. So for my base products, I need them to be extremely moisturizing. And so this RMS Uncover Up Foundation and Concealer is really great in the summertime, but sometimes I find it a little bit drying. So what I will do is I will pump a little pump of Drunk Elephant Marula Oil into this directly in and then I will swirl it around with my little brush and then I will go in and apply the concealer that way. I just find that if I haven't used it in a while then it tends to feel a little bit more dry on the skin and cling to some dry patches so I'm really happy that I just randomly did this one day to add some more glow to my skin and it has been a lifesaver especially in the winter time when I need that extra moisture in my skin. Okay, moving on to my very last product. It also is a makeup based product. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. And just by the name, you can already tell that it's gonna be extremely hydrating because it does have oil in it and it is supposed to hydrate the skin. I was actually in Sephora the other day getting my eyebrows done and one of the other employees came up and commented on my skin and how glowy it was. And I said, hands down, this is the number one reason why my skin looks good right now. It was an extremely cold and dry day and this was amazing. Kept my skin looking so glowy, but tinted to the point where it still looked really natural. I love this product so much and I'm so glad I finally got it. Okay, so that finishes up all of my winter skin saver products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite skin saver product for winter time. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.